Visualize the number of steps in a process or a workflow using the progress bar macro. If you haven't already, then you'll want to start by figuring out the number of steps that will form your process, then create the same number of pages. Essentially, each Confluence page forms a step. Then with the page in edit mode, once you've decided where you'd like to place the progress bar, you can start by adding a Confluence layout. Now, while this step is optional, this method allows us to select and copy several macros over to a new page, which will be useful later. So when you're ready, type forward slash progress. In the editor, let's set up the progress step for this page. Select this checkbox if it's the current step in the process. Enter a title or a short description of what this step involves. And to enable readers to navigate between each step, enter a Confluence page name or a URL. Typically, this step corresponds with the page you're on. Finally, define the order that each step will be displayed on your page and select Save. I'll quickly set up two more progress macros to complete my three-step process. To complete setup, add the same set of progress macros to the remaining pages created earlier. Simply copy and paste these over to each page. And just make sure to update the current step checkbox for each step. If you've copied macros from a previous page, then remember to unselect the current step settings carried over. When you're done, publish each page to see this macro at work. To learn more about the progress bar macro, see our documentation, or to start a free trial, visit the Atlassian Marketplace using the link in the description.